Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool. On today we have something really special for you. That is the brand new, just released 16 inch tiller from Ryobi. This is part of the Whisper series. This is an HP tool and it's their first actual tillers, not cultivators, but actual tillers. Now this can do down to eight inches deep and it's adjustable from eight to 16 inches wide. Now I haven't opened it, so today we're gonna open it, we're gonna test it out, we're gonna go through all of the specifications as well, and we're gonna test it out on virgin ground as well. So stick around, let's go ahead and start unboxing it. So Jay over at Ryobi actually sent this to me after uh, him and I had been talking for quite some time, especially after they sent me uh, the last tool, which was the blower. And I was really excited about this, and I was asking him when it would actually come out and what my plans were. And they were gracious enough to send this to me. So huge shout out to Jay. I really appreciate it. So on an order of magnitude, this is a large tool. This is not a small tool. So I'm actually really excited about this. It has a couple different cool things with it. All right, so this is the handle. It looks like it, it needs to come out all in one size. This is really, uh, this is not a light tool either. So coming in the box, it did kind of destroy the box in transit because it was shipped here. So it comes, this is a rapid charger, 40 volt rapid charger. The packaging seems to be really well thought out. A lot of rigid cardboard that's in there. Here's your instructions. We'll take care of those. Lay this to the side. We do not want to lose these. All right, let's pull this whole thing out. Play a bull handle. Let's pick the whole thing up. All right, set this right. We're going to set it down here. All right, so I'm gonna pull over from the other side. These are two wheels. They have rubber outers, plastic inners, um, and these are 10 inches. So these are pretty massive wheels for what you expect to have on an electric tiller. Okay, so here's a battery. Let's open it up so you can see what size it is. here all right so here's one time and it's kind of hard to see but they are tapered on the end so they do have a blade on them so they are directional so you want to make sure you put these on the right way let's get the rest out all right this is a double time as you can see here So all together, um, there are four sets of tines, as you can see right here. All right, let's go ahead and get this installation started. I have my instructions right here, and I have to say, you're gonna hear my kids in the background because I have a lot of kids. I have seven kids, so I'm never not without kids, so bear with me on that one. So the first thing that the instructions say to do is we need to install the handle. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, so we need to get it in place. So this is pretty simple. Um, it has four bolts that hold it in place. Now, the bolts are actually in here. Let's open this. All right, so we have all of our paperwork that goes with it. Let's just get that out of the way. Enter your chance to win a lifetime of tools or $10,000 gift away or something like that of tools. All right, so we have a bunch of bolts in here <clears throat> and it comes with a tool. It kinda looks like the same tool you would get with a chainsaw. So let's go ahead and get these out. So these are half rounded bolts. Okay, so we got all the bolts in. The next thing the instructions say is to install the wheel. So let's turn this on its side. Okay, so for uh, the wheels they actually go on the adjustable bar adjustable bar on the back as you can see i can pull it out just like this and it's three position so it's a quick position realignment so push in push down so this is really helpful when you're traveling with it and you're trying to get it from one place to another and then for when you want to till 
you just pick it up, you set it, and then you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get the wheels on. And these are hefty wheels too. Check these things out. So you have impregnated uh, oil impregnated steel right there, which is uh, a bearing steel. So all you need to do is we'll push these two little tabs in like so. We'll pull this out. Okay, and you can actually tighten this just like so all the way down because it does bottom out. Oh, I gotta help her halo. Okay, so once that's on, we'll go ahead and put the cover back on. Yeah, that's the tractor. So we'll push this back in. It's locked on and you're ready to go. Let's do the other side. Okay, for the next thing, what we're gonna do is we're going to install the drag bar. And what the drag bar does is that it helps adjust the depth whenever you're doing um, depth adjustment. So you can see here, this can go up to eight inches deep and you slide it through just like this and it has a quick release pin on it. Okay, so what that does is that drags and that helps for whenever the ground's soft, it glides through soft ground, but hard ground, it won't actually penetrate. And then all you gotta do for your height is you just adjust it here and you pull this up. So this is full depth. You can ride here or you can ride here for transportation. Okay, so the last thing we have to that we have to do is install the tines. And these are all held in place with pins, just like this. So they face inside. And what we will need to do is make sure that we find the right pin or the, the right slot. So it'll slide in just like this. Okay, so that's held on. And on the back side, you have to put the cotter pin itself. That's what holds the pin in place. Okay, so that's in. Now, <clears throat> this is where it goes from 11 inches to 16 inches. We have another one that we can put in right here, just like that. And this is what it makes it 16 inches. So we're gonna put that on. We have another pin. Okay, so we're just going to repeat this to the other side and we're done. Okay, so I got it all together. There it is. A couple things I wanted to point out. We're about to start uh, the tilling. This right through here, this is a uh, row that I did and I did it with a Greenworks tiller and it was actually a cultivator, it wasn't really a tiller. We struggled so much in order to get that done. So we really had to step it up and we're trying to go all electric with our gardening tools. So this will be the first time with this tiller. So I've got the battery all charged up right here. It has two different slots for batteries. This is only storage over here. There is no electrical connections. This side has the electrical connections. So it does lock shut through here. Now let's take a look at the controls. How this works first is we're gonna tilt it back so we don't hit the ground with the tiller. We press and hold. And then we pull back. It does have different speeds, load. So it is variable speed, low, and it gradually goes to high. So let's try it on high. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so that was really hard. Like I said, this is virgin ground. Um, we're gonna do it one more time. We knocked up a lot of the grass. So we'll see if we can't get under the grass and pull up all the roots at this point and then we'll clear it out.
All right, guys, so here's my final thoughts on the tiller itself. Um, it was really hard to cut through virgin ground, you know, with the grass and the root system that's there. Um, you know, once I got below it, I have some pretty good dirt here. Um, it was still, you know, able to cut. However, you know, it did struggle. It did cut out um, a good amount. And um, I did set it on the shallow settings, the the uh, virgin root system, you know, settings to where it's the shallowest and you gradually go down. I found that even when I was in this, you know, really uh, nice loose dirt, um, it still struggled getting to the low depth settings. It just kept cutting out, kept cutting out. Um, but it did do the job. I did go through a bunch of batteries, <laughs> probably changed the batteries six times in order to get all of this done. But at the end of the day, it did get it done. Um, what I would say is that if you already have a garden, this would be perfect. If you're cutting a new garden, uh, just take your time. It's gonna, it's gonna take uh, a good amount of time. However, I think at a, a first real crack at a tiller, I think that Ryobi did a pretty good job. Um, I think, you know, they need to, I, I think there's some improvements that still need to be made. Uh, I did not really use the high. It was just, it would spin way too fast. Uh, the high was just not a practical setting uh, for this particular machine. So I had to keep it on low. Um, other than that, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.